Welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to do this makeup look for Onam. I'm going to start off my look using the Neutrogena water gel for moisturizing. For priming, I'm using this primer from Maybelline. It's the instant pore eraser. If you have big pores, it's perfect. Then I'm using my favorite Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. Oh shit. Anyway, this is in the shade Coconut and I'm mixing this dark shade along with a lighter shade foundation which is the Eco Stay Lotus Foundation. This is in the shade Almond. I'll mention all the details down in the description box below. The reason I'm mixing two shades of foundation is because my skin has a mixed shade so I have to do that. And then using a wet sponge, I'm just going to blend it all out. Next, I'm using this concealer from LA Girls. This is in the shade Fawn. And I'm making sure to draw a line next to my nose bridge. This is also a way to contour your nose. So I'm concealing my eyes, under my eyes, as well as contouring my nose. So you want to make sure you draw a line. For contouring, I'm using my favorite matte stick from Fenty Beauty. It's like a pen. It's so easy to apply and if you're new to contouring, it's your go-to. Make sure you contour your nose very well because then it looks really nice when the whole makeup comes together. Especially your nose bridge and the corners near your uh, nose and your jawline. These are the places which define your face. While blending out the contoured areas around my cheekbones, I'm trying to push it upwards so it gives an uplifted effect. So make sure you have a wet sponge so you wash it well before you use it so the makeup stays for longer and it blends well and now you can see how beautifully it's blended moving on to the blush i'm using this product from sheen makeup i'm going to take a little bit on my finger and then just going to dab it on my cheek And then using a brush, I'm going to blend it all out. Again, you want to push it upwards so, you know, your makeup looks a little uplifted. Next is bronzing and I'm using this product from Nick AK New York. And this is really nice because they have this dark shade which is perfect for my skin tone. The reason you use a bronzer is just to highlight the contoured areas. And since there's a gold theme in this festival, I'm going in with this beautiful highlighter from Fenty Beauty. This is like the gold highlighter. You just need a little bit of this highlighter and you can see how bright it shines on your skin. And especially if you have a dark toned skin, you can see how bright it is on your skin.
and then i'm using this touch up powder from again she glam and sheen makeup and this is going to touch it up a little bit where i have concealed under my eye next i'm moving on to eye makeup and i'm using again a product from she glam in the sheen makeup and i'm going to choose a dark brown shade from the palette and use as my base shade and using my finger i'm going to take a little bit of that gold shade and apply it on my eyelid then using a brush i'm evenly going to spread it out then i'm going in with a dark brown shade from this palette and applying it on my corner a little bit just to give it a smoky look As you've seen, I also added some lashes because it is a festive look. I hope it looks nice. Uh, then I'm going in with this beautiful red lipstick because it's a festival, and I thought I can add in some color. So I'm going in with this Fenty Beauty lip paint. Even though I have flowers in my hair, I wanted to add a little bit more jasmine flowers. So for this look, I was actually confused as to what ornaments to wear and I really love this long chain, so I was just trying on different ornaments and seeing if it looks good. Elephants are my favorite animal so I borrowed this bangle from my mother and I just matched it up with this look For final touches I'm just going to use this mascara and just brightening up my lashes I actually regret not wearing this necklace because I thought it looked a little over the top so I did not go with the necklace But now as I'm editing it looks really beautiful and I regret it I didn't. But you know what? It's all for a good reason. So that's my final look and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Instagram Nikki Charms and let's be friends. See you guys in my next video. Bye bye.